Paleo Collective. Ah, surprise, surprise. I wasn't supposed to be here today, but I decided because we're not going out until a little bit later to do some reading. So let's see what your person's true intentions are with you. Understand if you're single, you're not seeing anyone, the next person that's coming into your life, what will their intentions be with you? We have September. Uh-oh. So something could be going on in the month of September. Okay. We have time freedom. Okay, so maybe your person will make some time for you. Y'all know y'all person be busy. So this could be somebody making time for you in September. Oh, this is nice. And then you have divine feminine. So this makes me feel like you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, a Capricorn, um, a Virgo. Um, I feel like somebody's making time for you in the month of September, obviously. But I feel like this person's intentions with you are to actually be in a relationship, divine feminine. This person sees you as someone that they want to nurture, care for, be there for. They have sincere feelings for unconditional love. Let's get three of these. We have protecting love. So they want to protect your love. Okay, beautiful. They could be very protective. We have child. Somebody may want to get you pregnant. Divine feminine is the empress and the empress is all about pregnancy fertility, fertile ground. So you might be getting pregnant. Some of you could be having a baby in September. Maybe you're already pregnant. And then we have here, joy. Wow. That's Leo energy, happiness. So their intentions with you are good and pure. And then we have dreamer. Yeah, this person sees you as somebody who feels like home. Will of fortune. <laughs> yeah, so this is a soulmate. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What's protecting love? So they want to fight for the connection, high priestess, divine feminine energy. This is a very spiritual connection, very telepathic connection. So you two may send each other telepathic messages. You think about something, they call you and tell you the very thing that you were thinking about. This could be a past life soulmate. Like when you met them, you felt like they were very familiar. The initials B or J could be significant. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so I feel like this person wants you to know their intentions for you, Ace of Wands in reverse. If this was something that kind of like started off really hot and heavy and then it kind of fizzled out, this person still feels the same way for you. They still want to be with you. But I also feel like what they're saying here is that it's not all about the sex because this is a very sexual card. It's not all about that for them. There's actually love here. They want to protect the love. Okay, so maybe in the month of September, it's not so much about you two being hot and heavy with each other. It's more about you two really bonding and connecting on a deeper spiritual level. High Priestess. They may want to get to know you a little bit deeper if, you're, if you two have not gotten to know each other very well. What else? Justice. Wonderful. So they want to meet you halfway. Their intentions are to be fair and truthful with you. This is honesty. This is integrity. This is compromising energy. This could also be an apology for some of you. What else? We have two majors. 333 on the timer. And you have the two cards that represent balance. You have the two card, the two major. Cards that represent the number two, choices, um, duality, balance, fairness. What else? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Judgment. Oh, my God. Then you have the other major for number two. Some of you could be going on the second or something could be going on on September the 2nd or the 22nd. I don't know, but this is 2-2-2. Two, two, two. <laughs> yeah, so 2-2-2 two, two, two is actually a sacred union. It talks about your soulmate. This definitely feels like a soulmate. So this judgment card lets me know that this person definitely is feeling like homesick for you. I feel like there's something about the connection with you that goes way beyond the physical. That's why the Ace of Wands is, is, in, is in reverse. Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, mm. It's that time of the month. I have told y'all several times. I get like this around that time of the month. I start stumbling over my words. Yeah, so this person is making a judgment call. They want to protect you. They want to protect the investment that they've made in you. This is beautiful. What's going on with a child here? Somebody can have a cat. Both of these cards have cats. 
So we have the seven, I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles. Wow, you get the protection card. <laughs> so yeah, they do want to protect this investment. Just like I just said, this is them putting work in and they want to protect it. And I also feel like this person is thinking about starting a family with you. Could be a Virgo or another Leo. Which child? This might be a person who doesn't want you to work like when you get pregnant and not, not to control you, but more so like, you don't have to worry. I just want to put you in the lap of luxury because the Empress energy is definitely all about you need to um, be taken care of and you pull divine feminine. They feel like you're worth the fight and they're ready to put the work in. So we have the five of cups and the two of pentacles. But what did I say here? Time freedom, right? This is time management, work, home, life balance. For some of you in the past, you have been sad that this person hasn't made the time for you. And now it looks like in the month of September, something is significant about the month of September. The Eight of Pentacles is the month of September. So something could be going on in the month of September between you and this person. The Eight of Pentacles actually equates to August 23rd through September the 1st. So this could be like, as we closing out the month of August. You, you could be having conversations about this because I feel like they have disappointed you in the past, okay? And um, it feels like they want to nurture you. I'm not sure why this, this child card is here. It could be that they just want to take care of you. Maybe that's what it is because I'm definitely seeing someone want to prioritize you. This is priorities. First things first, like what, what do I need to put on my to-do list, okay? This is having a really long to-do list. It's, it's, it's a lot. But it's also, okay, I'm going to do a really good job of managing my, my time. You know, a balancing act, multitasking. So this is what they're planning to do. They are working, but they're going to block out time for you. What's going on with joy in their intentions? Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Taurus energy. So I'm definitely seeing this person having second thoughts about where they have been investing their time. So their intentions are are again to make you a, more of a priority nine of cups yeah they want to spend more time like leisure time with you having fun and then the sun this person is in love with you leo this is your major it could be another leo a taurus a pisces um it feels like they want to do something fun with you it may be going on a trip or something here and then we have the six of wands they plan to put you on a pedestal this person admires you their intentions are to treat you right period yeah, th this person is seeing you in your own energy and their intentions are to be warm towards you, to love on you, to put you on a pedestal, to treat you like a queen or a king, and to make you feel like the center of the universe, the sun, <laughs> the center of the solar system. This is what they want to make you feel like. This is their intentions with you. Bottom of the deck, we have the hangman and we have the three of cups. See, you two haven't been spending a lot of time together things are in limbo maybe again that, i just feel like this person is always busy and i still see busy energy all these pentacles here lets me know same person with this money thing but it's t it's changing so they're starting to see here this person could definitely be a dreamer they could be a pisces in which case that makes absolute sense but this is somebody who is like slow moving because they're trying to figure themselves out but look at this let's have some fun i told you it's like they want to take you out they want to have fun with you they want to reconcile with you if you two aren't speaking. They want to talk and they want to move to calmer waters. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Libra, or an Aquarius. They're interested in exploring more with you. You two, you two could be at a distance from each other. Three of Wands is usually a distance. And it is a card of patience, but they want to offer you something stable. And look at this. She's pregnant. I'm telling you, somebody may want to get you pregnant. This is a solid, stable offer, y'all. I feel like this person is thinking about, for some of you, popping a question. And if not right now, they see themselves in the future marrying you. It could be an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Libra. What did I just say? Longevity. They want longevity with you. The Ten of Pentacles. Look, at they just want you to be happy, wealthy. Like, it's so important for this person to provide for you. I told you at the very beginning, they see you as divine feminine. They want to take care of you. This card means I want to nurture you. And what are you doing? Sitting on your throne, pregnant. Like I said, you don't have to work. I'll do all the work. Mm, Virgo energy. Okay, I am saying an apology for some of you. So you could be expecting an apology maybe in the month of September. But that is your person's intentions with you. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Um, 
I'm saying somebody maybe asked you to marry them, move in together, start a family, or just spend a, a whole lot more time together prioritizing you. Okay, Leo, those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Look at them. Look at them. King of Pentacles. Same card from yesterday. This is this is what they want. Look at that. They're holding on tight to their goals. They want long-term success. Your person is not a bum. They're a hard worker. They can have a lot of earth in their chart. If they're not an earth sign, they could be very earth dominant. They, they care about their financial stability and security for sure. So, ain't no getting around that. If you want to be with this person that's coming through these readings, y'all just going to have to understand that they are a hard worker. But I am liking that they are changing. They are starting to have a different perspective in the hangman. It's like, okay, I got to give Leo more time. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Claim this reading because this is a, a wonderful kind of partner to have. I will see you all next time. Peace.